Next thing I want to do now that he's back in position is um, start working on his values again. Now I'm going to start with color. And so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to use some green. Green is naturally the, um, the color that's in shadows. Um, if you look in life, I mean, it's the biggest element when you're working from life versus a, vo a photograph that shows up to any artist that has the knowledge of, um, of looking from life and working from life. What you see in the shadows of his body are much more blue and green than um, brown. So because we have a warm light on him, uh, the shadows take on a green element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building. And I want to go back in. I missed a little spot here now that I'm looking at him. I'm going to go back in and redefine what I see in negative space. There. I'm going to go in with that green. And I'm just going to use it as a basic undercoat. about, uh, I think it was week one or two, I talked about how right at the edge of your light is um, your warmest value. So right at the edge of my light, right before I go into shadow, I can add some warmth in to that area there. Okay, but also the elbow in the shadowed area, so I can use the same color, but I'm going to come back in with green 